I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to solve linear inequalities. We have two inequalities on this page and we will solve both of them. Question is, solve the following linear inequalities. 5x plus 3 divided by 2 is greater than minus 1 and 5x over 2 plus 3 greater than minus x minus 2. So I have taken these questions from the assignment of my student. You can copy, solve and then look into my suggestions. Right. Let's do them one by one. So the first one here is 5x plus 3 over 2 greater than minus 1. We can multiply both sides by 2. If we do that, then we get rid of the fraction, right? So we can write this as 5x plus 3 greater than minus 2. So this is multiplying both sides by 2. Correct? Now since we need to find what x is, let's take the constant to the right side. That means now we will divide, we will take away 3 from both sides. So if you take away 3 from this side, you are left with 0. On this side, we get minus 2, minus 3. So what we get here is 5x is greater than minus 5. Now you can divide by 5. Once you divide by 5, you get minus 5 divided by 5. Or you can write down x is greater than minus 1. So x greater than minus 1 is the solution for this linear inequality. Now, at times, we will have a question extended. We can represent answer. So, we can represent solution on a number line, for example, right? So, as an exercise, what we will also do is, we'll represent this solution on a number line. So, let us see how they are connected. So, we have a number line here. On a number line, let us say this is 0 for us. The solution here is x is greater than minus 1. That means not including minus 1, but greater than. So that represents the solution on a number line. And that is an inequality solution. So this is minus 1 for us. So everything greater than minus 1, right side of minus 1, is how you represent this solution. Now let us solve the next one. So here again, we'll multiply by 2. So when you do that, you get 5x plus 3 times 2 greater than minus 2x minus 2 times 2, correct? So that is to say we have 5x here. Let's bring minus 2x to the left side. So we get plus 2x. So you are bringing variables to the left, constants to the right. So here we have minus 4, 2 times 2. 3 times 2 is 6, bringing it to the negative 6 on the right side. Now we get 5 plus 2 is 7. So we get 7x is greater than this is minus 10 or x is greater than minus 10 over 7. So that is how this is, right? Now we can again represent our solution on a number line. Let's say this is the number line. In this case also, we get greater than minus 10. So let us say that is the point. Greater this point for us is minus 10 by 7, right? So somewhere here we'll have a zero, but it's going towards the right side. So that is how you can represent it on a number line, correct? That is also a solution, and in the solution we will assume x is always a real number, right? So x belongs to the set of real numbers in all our cases of linear inequalities when it is not mentioned, right? I hope that helps. Thank you, and all the best.